Hello everyone, and welcome once again to The Heir's Lair. I am your host, aspiring author, uh, Jonathan Taylor. As I mentioned in my social media, links in the description below, I am currently doing a read-through of the uh, Witcher books by Andrzej Sapkowski. And it is over the course of uh, this video, as well as several others both before and after it, that I'll give you my reviews of, uh, 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 of each book, as well as a general uh, impression of the series. I'll try to keep these videos as spoiler-free as possible, just in case someone who hasn't read the books yet uh, stumbles upon them. The topic of today's video is going to be The Lady of the Lake. Uh, for those of you who are interested in a TLDW, let me just say this book is a uh, 5 out of 5. It wonderfully, I'd even go a step further, or further and say masterfully, closes out every major uh, storyline of the series, as well as several minor ones, while also leaving the ending ambiguous enough to where uh, you could Built in, you could put together your own uh, possible continuation that expands upon the uh, narrative threads and themes that this uh, entire series has been uh, built up on. It is an excellent ending to, uh, to, a very, to a very good series, and I'm surprised not more people are talking about it. I'm, not, I'm surprised it's not uh, you know, in the running for uh, best fantasy endings of all time. To be uh, a bit more expansive now, uh, I'll say these uh, the major plot points are closed out uh, individually to some extent, and but we also explore some of the uh, uh, ramifications they have both uh, upon each other and uh, upon the world. They do uh, merge to some extent, but only when it is uh, 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 logical and uh, narratively appropriate. And I'll go through uh, all of them as I as I've uh, mentioned them in several uh, past videos, going from the most expansive to the most intimate. The most expansive uh, storyline that has been built up, uh, the war between uh, uh, the North Guardian Empire and the Northern Kingdoms, comes to an end in uh, one last major sprawling battle. Okay, you could argue that there are some uh, aftershocks to this conflict, but this battle definitely marks the, if not the end, then at least the beginning. Of, uh, uh, of the end. And uh, this battle we explore from three uh, perspective clusters. The first one being the uh, uh, commanders of the, the commanders uh, of the battle from uh, both sides. The second one being the uh, people on the front lines, soldiers and officers. And this and the third cluster is uh, uh, from the people who are uh, working at a, uh, at a field hospital. What's uh, most interesting about this battle is that many, if not most of the characters involved are actually uh, presented or established during the battle or immediately before it. However, uh, due to the stakes at play, as they have been built up throughout the uh, entire series, as well as, uh, how, uh, as well as how well their actions are described and all the uh, incidental information we uh, receive about, uh, about these characters, not to mention their uh, not mentioned their dialogue, you get to know them like at least as well as we got to know the uh, uh, the main characters of the series as they were penciled out in the you know in the preliminary short story collections, and I think it is this aspect that really uh, probably more than anything else shows what makes uh, Sapkowski so uh, important and uh, notable a writer to uh, modern fantasy. The uh, second plot I want to talk about is Geralt's story, and uh, and in this story, Geralt finally uh, uh, finally finds a destination for his quest, uh, uh, reaches his uh, reaches his destination. However, he doesn't find uh, and doesn't really find Ciri, or rather, doesn't find her immediately. He first finds uh, Yennefer and helps her uh, close out her close out her story. Ciri does uh, show up, but she shows up uh, a little bit later. And actually, her uh, her storyline in this book is uh, quite interesting because she is somewhat uh, she is somewhat uh, disconnected from it as of uh, as of the uh, uh, the ending of the last book. And it is through this uh, disconnection that she learn actually learns the full uh, breadth of what makes her interesting or uh, noteworthy, sought out by uh, uh, by various other characters. And she uh, also 
uh, no, gains, uh, gain, gains an understanding of some of her abilities, as well as, uh, <coughs> uh, as, well as some degree of, uh, a, a new degree of self-confidence, and she, and she uh, uses her um, newfound abilities and confidence to uh, return to the, uh, <laughs> you know, to return to the uh, main narrative, uh, close out her particular character arc, and then help her uh, surrogate parents, Geralt and Yennefer, deal with the uh, <clears throat> deal with the uh, ramifications, the aftershock of the uh, uh, political slash diplomatic conflict at play, as in they finally get to deal with the uh, you know with the actual with the actual North Guardian authorities. A lot of the um, a lot of this uh, books, and I'll even argue this series. Most uh, most important, most emotional, and most uh, dramatically important uh, moments are are described uh, in this uh, are, are described in this uh, in this segment where everyone you know closes out their uh, where, where every major uh, storyline gets closed out, and it is and it is very much an very much makes for an uh, engrossing and engaging read. One that I can, one that I, you cannot help but be uh, invested, especially if you, especially if you've already read, uh, you know, the rest of the series. <clears throat> After that uh, gets settled, we get a an extended uh, epilogue sequence where we explore what happened to uh, various other characters and settings after they, uh, after they no longer became relevant to the, uh, you know, to the uh, general story. And we also get to see some. Uh, we also get to see some uh, potential uh, expansions for how this for how this uh, world and the events within it could uh, change in the uh, uh, in the near future. At the same time, however, we also get uh, one final twist that changes all, all of these uh, that changes all of these setups and might alter the you know the future of this uh, of this world quite. Uh, quite dramatically. How? Well, it's kind of hard to say because it's uh, no, it's uh, left ambiguous. It's left ambiguous, but it is still made uh, highly compelling because this book never has a dull moment, and it manages to uh, present such a you know such an expansive and uh, engaging and uh, intricate storyline without having to resort to false finishes, without having to sacrifice in its humor. And without ignoring or indulging in the uh, brutality that this uh, that this series has been uh, uh, built up on, this book is seriously a masterpiece of its craft and an uh, excellent, outstanding display of characterization, pacing, and escalation. I've uh, I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. This book is definitely a five out of five. It's an amazing read in and of itself, and when you look at it in the context of the uh, larger series, it is an excellent, nay, perfect ending to this series. How interesting is it then that there is another? More on it at a later date. For now, I would like to say thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed this video, then I suggest you go ahead and leave it a and leave a like. If you uh, have anything you'd like to uh, uh, add. The uh, comment section awaits your input, and if you want to see when my uh, next video comes up, then I suggest you go ahead and subscribe. Maybe also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube asks of you in order to get notified. Until next time, I am Jonathan Taylor, and this has been The Heir's Lair.